Hello, my name is Bruce with Olympus Controls and today I'd like to talk to you about a new actuator that we designed here. Uh, we didn't design all the components from scratch obviously, we used some components that we use on a regular basis. Uh, the reason we decided to design an actuator was because we have kind of a hole in our product line. We have a lot of ball screw actuators that can provide a lot of thrust and a lot of accuracy, uh, but they can't necessarily go as fast as we'd like sometimes. Uh, we have some linear motor actuators that can go really fast and they're also very precise but they are limited in their thrust capacity. And We have a, uh, uh, a partner, Nexon, who has what they call their RPS, their roller pinion system. It's, uh, we actually have a video online for the RPS so you can take a look at that, learn a little bit more about how that technology works, but basically it's a, it's a system that uh, can provide high speed and high thrust all in one package. Now, they basically designed the, the drive mechanism. They haven't. They don't really provide a package. So we thought we would put together a package that uh, that we could actually provide to our customers, and they could just drop into their systems. Um, this one we thought we would design in uh, the format kind of like a like a thrust cylinder, like you'd have in a rotted actuator or a or a hydraulic actuator. Basically, it has a uh, a threaded end, a rod end that you could use to attach to your load. Um, it has actually a square rail bearing mounted to the bottom of the rack. That square rail bearing is provides rigidity uh, and uh, basically it takes up the, the load needed for the preload of the Nexon roller pinion system. There's also one of the things that we wanted to make sure uh, was implemented in this system is that it would be easy to maintain. So we have made it so that the uh, it can actually be taken apart very easily. Uh, so if you ever needed to maintain the square rail bearings or if you ever need to replace a rack or anything like that, that would be really easy to do. You can see from the picture that the bottom just drops right out. Um, you can see in the main housing we actually use a planetary gearhead and inside the housing itself mounted right to that planetary gearhead is the roller pinion itself. Um, this system that we have uh, built up here in this picture. Uh, it can take about 800 pounds of thrust load capacity. That's dynamic, so it can move and provide 800 pounds of thrust. Uh, the peak or the static uh, force that it can provide is about 1600 pounds, but we actually have a whole variety of rack and pinion systems and those can take all the way up to 4700 pounds of static force. The, uh, the rack and pinion system itself is capable of really high speeds but realistically, when you put a servo motor on it and a gearhead with a you know with a, a gear reduction, you're probably going to get around three and a half meters per second, which is oftentimes plenty of speed for most applications. And from an accuracy standpoint, these things are accurate down to about 30 microns, and they actually have a repeatability of about five. Uh, here's a quick little shot of it moving back and forth. As you can see, it moves very quickly. Um, the thrust that it puts out is significant and uh, it's actually shaking the table quite a bit. But it, uh, it moves quickly, it move, it's, uh, it's stiff, it's rigid. Um, it's, a, it's a good product and we, uh, we think you guys will like it. So if you're interested, have some applications where you do need some thrust and speed, you can reach us at 1-800-236-0607. Thanks for your time and we'll talk to you later.